Hey YouTubers! Uh, I'm out on another wild camp adventure today. Um, I don't use OS Maps anymore. What I do is um, I use this app called OS Uber, OS Uber Guides. It's new, you won't have heard of it before. What you do, you put your details in, say where you want to go. Uh, they drop a fella off, he comes down and guides you around. Uh, today I'm joined by the, the awesome Mark Taylor Outdoors. How's it going guys? He's the OS Uber guide. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna go, uh, see how many stars he's worth at the end. And then uh, we'll crack on. It's gonna Five be a good one. Least. Five stars, <laughs> five star reviews. Go check out the app, OS Uber guide, okay. As beautiful as the village of Eam is, uh, it holds a bit of a dark past. In, in, uh, in between the years of 1665 and 1666, 260 villagers, uh, died of the bubonic plague. Uh, yeah, it beggars belief really. <laughs> but a lot of families had to bury their own children and husbands. Yeah, and it must have been a trying time for everybody not to just up sticks and leave. Um, so all, it all started just down here. A young chap, a young tailor's assistant called George Vickers. He, uh, he was the first to get the disease and within a, a week of him getting it he was dead uh, just down here with the houses where he was he'd hung out a bit of cloth to, to dry that they'd got from London and it contained the disease ridden fleas and they obviously went strife on all the uh, local residents uh, yeah over the next 14 months 260 villagers lost their lives. The rector at the time, uh, William Mompesson, uh, had a bit of a hard decision to convince his parishioners to, uh, to stay in the village, lock down the village, don't let anybody in or anybody out. He was already not uh, liked very much, but um, he managed to uh, convince them after letting the previous reverend talk to the local people and uh, convince them that's the right thing to do and they effectively sacrifice their own lives for the good of the others and they probably save thousands of people here it's, uh, it's unbelievable to think about it, isn't it okay here we are at Mon Pesson's well um, back when the plague was rife, the local villagers had all their supplies uh, put here and they uh, left their money in this well down here. The well had uh, vinegar in it to disinfect the money so the local surrounding villagers would leave them supplies and uh, that's where they would leave the money in this little well here. None of us have got the bubonic plague. Uh, absolutely stunning day. Uh, my OS Uber, he knows where he's going, so I'm just following him. <laughs> he's doing a great job so far.
Okay, so Tello update. The Tello hit a branch. <laughs> Went pew, pew, pew. Pew. into a deep pile of mud. And we lost the prop. And uh, now I can't do any drone footage. <laughs> But uh, as Mark says, at least it didn't weigh as much as a Mavic or a DJI Phantom or something. <laughs> Only in this little bag. <clears throat> Anyways, look at this beautiful place we're at. Just got Mark just setting up for some sort of time lapse. <laughs> <laughs> Stunning. Okay, we're just navigating the uh, bogs of Eam. <laughs> the paths are dreadful. <laughs> Look at them. They're as slippy as heck. We've both gone down now. <laughs> so uh, I'm gonna put this away anyway before I fall over on camera. <laughs> Mark gets it. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> Bretton Brook now joins Hilo Brook. Just in for that, that last section we just come from. Just super slippery and boggy. We both both slipped down in it. I think I went and almost two seconds later Colin went straight down as well. So <laughs> great fun. I'm now I'm now muddy. <laughs> it's all fun. At least it's sunny. So we're going to stay on this side now. <laughs> and it uh, looks a bit Yeah, what he dry, said. Hopefully, so. <laughs> Couldn't fall in over anymore. Managed to save a couple of falls. Thought I was going proper backwards at one stage. Uh, just in the back here, you can see uh, Higator and uh, Stanley Jedge is just over the way over there. So how the city is just down in the valley there. It's not too far away. It's been a nice walk so far. It's been a bit challenging there in that mud. But, uh, I'm blaming it all on the Uber driver. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it's a cracking day though, still a cracking day. Look at the sunshine blinding you all. Pixel swooping through the skies. The pixel of prey. <laughs> <laughs>
just on the edge of Havisage now. We're now down the bottom. Uh, we're going to go find somewhere to sit and have something to drink and eat. Uh, just down the way is the River Derwent. Uh, we're going to go up through Havisage and then decide where we're going to camp up for the night. Just a glorious day, it's getting hotter. <laughs> I'm going to have to take my coat off in a bit. Check in a bit. There's our shelter for the night. Unfortunately, it's waterlogged, so we're going to have to find somewhere else. Maybe the other Hobbit home along the way. <laughs> There's loads of them. Okay, we are currently just scoping out a wild camping spot for the night. We're up on the Millstone's Edge near Coal Walk. Uh, the mother cap is just up the way here. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if you can see him. But uh, Mark's all the way over there. It's looking like we're camping on the edge of there, so I'm just going to go see if there's anywhere up here that's any better. A bit out of the wind if it gets windy. It's not windy yet, so we're doing all right. Right, I'll show you what we find when we find it. <laughs> Okay, so we uh, decided on Millstone Edge to camp at tonight. Uh, it's got nice views overlooking Havisage and Stanage just over the way. So it should be nice to wake up to in the morning. Just getting the brew on now, having a hot chocolate. The temperature's dropping a bit, so I've had to put the puffer jacket on. <laughs> I hope I survive the night. See you in a bit. Country, got Kokoshi and Mark's in the hotel. The Zephros 2. Look how tiny that is. <laughs> hotel. <laughs> it's warm though, that's the main thing. So hopefully I'm gonna have a nice toasty warm night. I'm plenty laid up. There's loads of people around, there's loads of joggers around just up the way here. It's quite a busy area. Just see how it gets on through the night. Okay, the sun's just gone down. I'm getting the tea on. I'm having a three bean and chili rice. With some treats, so sausage. Okay, it's gonna warm me up for the night. Hopefully. Okay, it's uh, quarter to ten now. Uh, we're just batting down the hatches. It's been a good day's walk. Uh, I get a good sleep, pretty warm and cozy in my little micro cozy, and uh, yeah, it makes change from the bivy. Uh, I'll see you in the morning, see what uh, sunrise we get. <laughs> Hopefully, it's better than the sunset. Catch you there. Morning, it's about half past six. Uh, just woken up, had a really good night's sleep. Uh, didn't wake up much, probably woke up once. It's lovely this morning. Uh, there's not much to see, it's a bit hazy but still stunning. Yeah, so I'm going to do a couple of time lapses of the sun coming up over there. Some nice colours coming out there. And uh, <laughs> go wake Mark up and 
see if he wants to do some time lapses. He always loves the call. <laughs> uh, check out this edge I'm over here. That's where we camped last night. Some little spot. It's really nice once everybody's gone. It was so busy up here with the car park being up the way there. Uh, we're going to get some breakfast and then uh, crack on and finish the rest of this walk. Okay, that's it for uh, this little camping spot. Left no trace as usual. That's my spot. There's Mark's spot. There's Mark. <laughs> it's starting to freeze a bit now. <laughs> so we're gonna get walking. Look at this funky muff I've got. Cheap as chips. Might be <laughs> rubbish, that's why. Right, see you in a bit. Okay, that was just Lawrence Field where they did uh, made a load of millstones in the quarries there. It's a stunning place. It's just like hundreds of millstones, giant millstones, just left, left to the wild. And then you come into these stunning birch woods uh, just over the way there. There's a little pond. That's where we camped last time. That's a uh, some nice little climbs around there. So yeah, we're gonna go venture through these woods. I've never been much further than uh, here, really. So it'll be all new for me. All right, crack on. Horse Hay Coppice and we've re entered the mud again. <laughs> Come on, shoes. <laughs> I dried off a bit ago. <laughs> I'm blaming it on my Uber, my OS Uber guide. Special <laughs> mud. <laughs> You. Okay, we're just leaving Frog and Woods. Uh, local farmers around here like to keep their posts warm. Uh, it's a well-known fact. Mark's gene himself up for the almighty climb. <laughs> <laughs> the last climb out, up and over, and then nearly job done. <laughs> okay, we're on our way. We've pumped our legs up, ready to tackle the hill of doom. <laughs> Look how much Mark's loving it. Loving it. <laughs>
giant concrete Lego blocks. <laughs> for a landslide which is uh, somewhere up here and uh, nature's taken over this road because they've closed it off to everybody but YouTubers. intrepid youtubers <laughs> but it's okay mark knows where we're going uber os guide i know nothing <laughs> And here we are at the landslide. Not very impressive. <laughs> it was much more impressive a couple of years back. You can still see bits of the road here where it's cracked and slid down. Yeah. But quite bad when I cycled up here before. Half it had gone down that sort of way. <laughs> Okay, and we're back at Eam. Uh, it's been an awesome walk. It's, uh, yeah, I had a great time. The mud's been a bit of a hard slog, but that makes it part of the fun, doesn't it? <laughs> and uh, seen some awesome views along the way. Uh, it's been a great mini micro adventure, I suppose. But uh, I need to get out a lot more this year, hopefully. But uh, until the next time, Keep up on adventures. See you later. Whoa, don't go anywhere <laughs> just yet. What did I tell you about my Uber star rating? <laughs> they drop you off right off back at home. Check out that app, it's brilliant. We're gonna give him, bing, 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 five stars. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, see you later guys, that's really it. Bye.